This is a short tutorial on how to control which devices ring when using Veracity Network's DCAS Unified Communicator. You can have it set up so that your desk phone rings, your computer rings as a soft phone, your tablet rings, and your cell phone rings. Some people want all of that. Some people only want one or two. This is how you can control that. The first thing you'll do, starting off in the profile as a group administrator, is go into Users. You can do a blank search, and it'll bring everybody up. Click on any of the user that you need to modify, and you're going to go into Call Control in the left sidebar. And scroll down, pick Shared Call Appearance in the lower right-hand corner. And in here, you've got three shared call appearances, one to your mobile phone, one to your PC or Mac, and one to your tablet. You can edit each of these. So what you would do to disable, say, for instance, if you don't want your PC ringing, or let's say your tablet. No, let's go with the mobile. You can do all three of them, or one or the other, and it's, set, it's enabled. It allows origination, meaning you can make a phone call from your mobile phone using VCAS, and it's set for allowing termination to the mobile phone. If you uncheck that and apply it, your mobile phone will stop ringing whenever you get calls while, while you have VCAS enabled. However, there's other ways that your cell phone may be integrated. Inside of call control, there's Broadworks Anywhere. This is independent of VCAS. You can do it as long as you've got a high enough level license. You'll have Broadworks Anywhere or Broadworks Mobility options. You can come in and add numbers, additional cell phone numbers. Here's one example. This is set to a fake number and it's set as not being enabled. You can enable it so that if you get a call to your desk phone, it went to, to this cell phone number also, kind of like a simultaneous ring. You just enable it and apply it. Broadworks Mobility. You do want this one enabled if you're using VCAS so that you can make outbound calls from your, your cell phone, assuming you even want to make outbound calls from your cell phone. Uh, you'll have to have your number registered with us, and then it'll be in the drop-down list. And you can control whether it's on or off whether only your fixed phone, which is the phone on your desk, rings, your mobile, or both. Do that right here with uh, Broadworks Mobility. Um, sometimes there's individual or group settings that might override on a case-by-case basis. Uh, I would suggest uh, making sure it's set for the uh, use user settings. And then again, originations is outbound, terminations is inbound. Clicking apply if you make changes. The other places you might have some cell phone integration set up is in incoming calls. It could be, for instance, call forwarding always could be set up to always forward all of your calls to your cell phone, your home phone, wherever. And over here, you've got simultaneous ring. This is a popular one. It's nice and simple where you can come in here and have it simultaneously ring a coworker, your home, your second office, uh, your cell phone, another extension. You would enable that right here. You put the number in, you turn it on, you can set it so whether or not it simultaneously rings both numbers if you're already on a call. And then answer confirmation can be useful. Answer confirmation is where you would need to, uh, it'll, it'll prompt you to input a one if you want to, uh, to take the call. The reason that's useful in some cases is that tells you, oh, this is one of my business calls as opposed to a personal call. So you can kind of uh, filter them out that way. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about integrating cell phones, VCAS, and desktop phones. Have a good day.